Hey guys, it's Garvey and I'm going to officially start my YouTube channel. So this is the first video and it's going to be a basic purple smoky eye tutorial. But first, before we start that, I would like to just um, tell you guys all about your eyes. Because usually when you don't know where you're putting your eyeshadow, it ends up looking like a mess, right? Alright, so first things first. <laughs> if, if you... Okay, no. Um, so first thing you need to know is um, this is your eyelid, all of this. So basically almost all of your eyes except for uh, the crease. The crease is um, the line that your eyelid makes. So if you poke it, you can't, you, you don't hurt your eyes, right? So this is kind of where you put your color in to add depth to your eye. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, on your eyelid you have your primer and your base color. And then here you have your outer V. Um, this is kind of where the base color and the crease color start to blend in and smoke out. Um, if you have uh, hooded eyes, you might want to extend your outer V in a way, so your eyes look a bit longer. Oh, and uh, talking about longer eyes, um, here your lower lash line and your upper lash line, lash line uh, kind of you kind of put a color to here um, to uh, elongate your eyes too. Usually it, it's a thin, thin line so it's not, you know, too big uh, and it doesn't hide your eyelid. And then here we have your inner corner. Your inner corner usually you put a light and bright, <laughs> it rhymes, a light and bright um, color so it kind of uh, gives a pop to your eyes and makes you look more awake. And then here you have your brow bone, the skin that sits right underneath the arc arch of your eyebrow. And usually you put a highlighter here and it connects with um, the highest point of your cheekbones. And I like to skip this step because um, my eyes are kind of hooded and I don't like to bring out too much attention on the brow bone. Okay, so now that we've got that covered, let's move on to the actual tutorial. First, we're gonna prime. And this is what I'm using. I'm gonna list all um, the products I used in the description box. Priming your eyes is very important, so the colors you'll be using will stick to your eyelids and not melt off. So, little goes a long way. Kind of put in too much, so I'm gonna remove some, just a little, so it doesn't look too white and filmy, if you will. Okay, so now that my eyelids are primed, well, my eyelid, because I don't want to do both eyes, um, I'm gonna start with the base color, and this is the product I'm using, Maybelline Eye Studio Color Explosion. In Amethyst Ablazed. Oh wait, I said I wouldn't say. Oh well. So, um, basically the primer I used was a BB cream from Aveeno. It's called the Clear Complexion BB Cream. And in fair because I don't like it to be too dark so it kind of brings out my eyes and it even has SPF 30 that's a good thing right right and so the first color here I'm using for the base is the lowest the color that's um, the lowest on the palette It's 
sometimes I like to use my fingers because I think it picks up the pigment better than a brush. I don't even have a brush, I'm using these spongy little things that comes with the package. Anyways, now I'm using this color for the lid color. And this goes all over your lid. And if you make any mistakes um, for the shape that you're going for, it's alright. At the end you could just um, use a Q-tip or a makeup wipe to kind of erase your mistakes. Now I'm using this color from the same Maybelline lip palette. It's not even a palette, I mean, it's kind of small, but oh well. Um, so this goes in your crease. Okay, so this one kind of um, on the lid too, but I can fix that by putting back some of the lid color on my lid. I like to extend a little um, the shape for my eye makeup, so it makes my eyes look longer and bigger. Okay, so I'm kind of going back with the lid color because um, the crease color kind of hit it a little. Okay, so now I am using the Alme palette in intense eye color for sm for brown eyes. So I'm using. Um, the second shade, this one, it's kind of a light shimmery purple, and this is going to go in my inner corner. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of um, dip a Q-tip in some water because my shape, the shape of my eye makeup is kind of messed up. So. That's the cool thing about makeup. You can always go in and erase your mistakes. Alright, and now I'm using the Maybelline palette again and picking up this dark purple to line my eyes on my lower lash line. Does that even make sense? Anyways, you guys will get it. You can see what I'm doing. Right here.
Okay, I'm gonna blend out a little my outer V because it's not blended out. With a tiny little brush. The kid's screaming outside and I got kind of scared because kids. Looks like I'm gonna have to um, pick up a little bit more of that um, crease shade because it doesn't look like I've I used some. Yeah, there we go. Just remember to kind of like blend it out so it doesn't look like a hot mess. Hey, fun fact for you guys, this is like the third time I'm filming because my camera kept on running out of battery and space. Tough life, man. Anyways, it's kind of fun putting on makeup, so... Actually, it's hella fun. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Blend, blend, blend until you're satisfied with your result. Alright. I'm gonna blend this a little too. So, um, for now, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna line my upper lash line with... wait. Marcel Double Precision Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And I'm using the felt tip. And if you guys um, are kind of scared to do a straight line or mess up, you can kind of use the tip of um, your eyeliner and make dots where your lashes are so they look fuller. My eyes are so sensitive, oh my god. Okay, now that that's done, ooh, um, you're gonna curl your lashes, and I'm curling mine with a spoon because I don't have a curler yet. Oh my god. Okay, the um, eyeliner really poked in my eyes. Okay, all good. Uh, I'm gonna curl my lashes with a spoon. So basically you wanna put your finger underneath your lashes and press down the spoon against them. Okay, now mascara. I'm using the Marcel Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I really like this one because it doesn't clump. You don't always have to go for higher end products. I mean, sometimes drugstores are better. That's kind of all I have because high end is expensive. Why is everything so expensive? 
Anyways, layer on a few coats. See, a spoon does wonders. I mean, it curled my lashes, right? Right. And that's it. I don't like to put some on my lower lash line, but if you want to do that, you can go ahead. This is what the finished result looks like. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!